HubSpot versus Zoho. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be comparing HubSpot with Zoho and we'll figure out that which one of these platform is better for you to use for your online business and get more productive. The link for both of these platform is given in the description down below. You can get your free trial right now. So let's get started. Up first, we have HubSpot.com. I will be telling you about different features and different services HubSpot offers to help you with your online business and then we'll We'll compare it to Zoho to figure out that what are the major differences between these platform and which one is better for you. So at first, what you have to do is simply come to HubSpot.com. Uh, the sign up process is very easy. What you have to do is you simply sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password. Now, if you want to get your free HubSpot, the link is given in the description down below for your HubSpot. Go ahead and check it out and you will land on this platform right here. Once you sign up, this is the dashboard you will get after the initial sign up so you will be able to see all of the options that we get in hubspot are given above we get contact conversions marketing sales service automation and reports now hubspot allows us to create our own you know hub of our productivity to manage our business better because when we create our online business anywhere we need different uh, you know options we need to have a marketing hub we need to have a, a service hub we need to have a crm and hubspot allows us to kind of avail all of these different features so how to you know get started with any of these so what happens is you simply you know click on any of these for example the contact when you click on that you get a drop down menu where you will be able to check out uh, the different you know sub options that we are getting for example in marketing you will be able to create your own ads you will be able to create your own email marketing campaigns. I personally create my email marketing campaigns with HubSpot uh, because HubSpot actually gives you a lot of different features to go for when it comes to email marketing. And then we have, of course, sales. It's in sales, you will be able to, you know, avail the CRM of HubSpot, which is pretty amazing with a lot of different features to go for. Um, we have different, you know, customized uh, contact. And when we come to services, you will be able to check out the tickets and service hub and automation of course where you will be able to check out your workflow so if i you know give you a view of any of these let's just say that email marketing if you are into a business email marketing is actually one of the very important factor of any of the business that we do so you can create your email marketing campaign with your HubSpot. So any dashboard you will go to, for example, right now I am on email uh, dashboard. So you will get this option, this orange button right here, which says create email. This means that I will be able to create my own email marketing campaign uh, with HubSpot. If I go to contact and if I go to contact right here, so I will simply click on contacts and uh, let's go to contact and you will see right here this is the contact dashboard again i am getting the option of create contact right here so this is pretty easy platform to use it has a lot of features and when there are a lot of features a platform actually gets a little complicated to use for beginners but hubspot actually has these uh you know very clear uh, options available for you so you don't get you know confused so you simply click on create contact you can import your contact this is a good option we get when we have we are going to managing our different you know businesses and it allows you to add integrations as well to your hubspot uh, so you will be able to add your different you know um uh, list that you already have created any subscribers subscribers that you already have any contact list that was on your previous platform that you were using you can import it to your hubspot without you know worrying and without uh you know getting into the hassle of creating a new one when we talk about sales uh if you're into sales you can go to deals right here you will be able to create your new deals you will be able to import your deals again you get the option right here so these are the different you know views we get you can add views for example you can go for more than one view of your dashboard Dashboard. you can go for my deals new deals this month so you can you know customize and filter them the way you want to that is why hubspot is actually very easy to use and if you're looking for a platform which is beginners friendly and that allows you to create your amazing hub to have this suit and where you will be able to get all of the options then you can check out uh you know hubspot.com 
www.habspot.com uh, the link for habspot is given in the description down below you can create your own um, account right now uh, so if i go to automations real quick let me show you that we get the sequence and workflow these are actually for the premium plans and then we have the report option where you will be able to get your different dashboards this is where we manage our different dashboards because when you will be creating your hubspot you will have more than one um you know dashboard you will have your a uh, sales dashboard you will have your marketing dashboard you will have your crm you can get these are the different old dashboards i have like cms marketing sales and services so what happens is i can get a view like i can create a new dashboard and i can manage them then i can go for a chart view i can go for a sales view i can go for a sales manager so this is where we um if you are going to manage a lot of you know dashboards this is where you will find yourself all the time and if you are already using hubspot and you're like a little confused at how to manage all the dashboard at once then this is the option you come to you go to reports and in reports you will find this dashboard option in dashboards you actually get access to all of the dashboards at the same time and you can actually compare them this is actually a good thing this is where we compare our different dashboards to check out that how we are doing you can go for a pie view you will get the charts you will get the flow so this is actually pretty amazing right so you will be able to you know compare them and you ha you will have an idea how your business is going and how you can manage them better again if you're thinking that if you can create a landing page or uh, if you can create a website with your hubspot then the answer is yes you can create your landing page with your hubspot the option is given in marketing in marketing you will see landing page social seo and then campaigns and forms as well so you will be able to you know uh get these options right here if we come to conversions if you are looking for chart flows and templates they will be found in conversions so these are the different options we get uh in our hubspot this is pretty amazing in sales we also get the option of meetings where you can actually you know uh add different meetings according to your different clients and your different uh you know platforms and different softwares that you are going to be managing with your hubspot so yeah hubspot is actually a pretty amazing platform when it comes to uh you know having your own um business suit and having your own online suit to manage your business better the link for hubspot is given in the description down below so let's check out zoho.com now uh, so what you have to do is simply come to zoho.com and sign up for free for your account the link for zoho is given in the description down below you can go ahead and create your account right now this sign up process is very easy you can sign up with your google account so this is the dashboard we get with zoho now it looks really um you know complicated at once because there are a lot of features we are getting there are a lot of apps and a lot of uh you know different services for example sales marketing hr finance legal email it project management and then you can go for coding and so zoho is all in one suit that you get this online suit where you will be able to add anything you name you will find it in zoho um so the link for your zoho is given in the description check out zoho right now so what happens is you simply select any of the service you want to go for um so if you'll come to zoho you will actually get a little confused at how to get started how we you know create our own zoho dashboard to and you know start with our business so what you do is it's super easy what you do is you will see the apps option right here right in apps you will see sales marketing customer support finance hr and all of this so it depends on you what you want to go for let's just say i want to go for marketing so i will click on marketing and it will take me two marketing apps that are available in zoho zoho marketing uh you know tools that are available so in marketing i am getting social campaigns forms service page sense and all of these marketing tools so there are actually a lot of tools in each of these categories if i want to go for email and collaboration so i click on email and collaboration it will take me to the tools that are available for email and collaboration so what you do is you simply try these different tools for your zoho and then you add it to your own dashboard and once you have that you will be able to you know have this amazing uh you know um suit of your own so i can you know add any of these options right here so let's go to marketing again and let me 
show you that how we actually add anything to our Zoho Mail. And you can, you know, add from all of these tools, you can, you know, try any of these. So let's go to social and I will simply click on social and Zoho will actually take me to Zoho social and I will be able to access it. So what you have to do is simply click on access Zoho social. Once I do that, uh, I can try it out right now. I will simply click on try Zoho social now and it will open it up for me. So this is Zoho social. That was so easy, right? Now I have added a Zoho social, like a social hub to my Zoho suit. Now I can actually connect my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or my Instagram, anything I want to. So the first step is, you know, you will simply, you know, connect any of your social and then you can, you know, start using Zoho social and it will be part of your team. It will be the part of your hub that you are creating. So once I have added, you know, connected my social account, I can simply go back and I can add as many tools as I want to to my Zoho. So what happens is again, I will go to all products and in all products, let's go to finance now. In finance, I have invoices. Let's go for invoices because I want to add invoices to my hub. Now what happens is access Zoho invoice, simply click on that and it will take you to Zoho invoices. And what you have to do is, you know, simply add information, for example, your organization name, business location, state preference, currency, everything, of course, to set up an invoice for your uh, Zoho. And it is like one time setting that you do. So once you have added all of these information, you will be able to access your Zoho invoice. And this invoice option will be part of your hub that you are going to create with your Zoho. If I go to CRM, I will be able to add different options. The link for your Zoho is given in the description down below. You can check it out right now. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. I compared HubSpot with Zoho. I wanted to give you an overview that which one of these platform is better for you to manage your business better. The link for both of these platform is given in the description down below. You can check them out right now and create your own free account and get started and be productive. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.